Hey everybody, this is Troy with Ebo Central. Today we're taking a look at Kodachi Linux 8.14, the newest release. Based on Ubuntu and Debian with the XFCE desktop environment, this is probably one of my favorite distros I've ever looked at before for the simple fact of all the security features it comes packed with, but at the same time, you can use it as a daily driver. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like what the channel's doing and enjoy the videos, you can buy us a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at their website, so let's go over there real quick. That's digi77.com slash linux dash kodachi. I will put that link in the description below. And basically, it just lets you know that Kodachi is an operating system based on long-term support Ubuntu. Now, I do have people say, you know, it's 18.04. That's an older kernel, but it's stable. What they're looking at here is long-term support. I have heard that when the next LTS comes out, they will update to it, so you should be good to go. It comes with secure, anti-forensic, and anonymous operating system. You are constantly on a VPN. All connections to the Internet are forced to go through the VPN, then the Tor network with DNS encryption. I have done some web surfing on here. It doesn't seem to affect it all that much. It is a tiny bit slower, but if you like your security and you like your privacy, this is definitely an operating system to take a look at. It leaves no trace on the computer you're using unless you ask it explicitly. It uses state-of-the-art cryptographic and privacy tools to encrypt your files, emails, and instant messaging. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, it's got achievements, how to use... Hence, security models. You can come over here and read all the security models if you want to set that up for best anonymous results or for best security results. Nuke, I really like Nuke. This is very interesting. Kadachi Nuke is a self-destructing Luke's partition you can use only if Kadachi is installed and encrypted. Simply what it does is it will encrypt Kadachi with its own keys, so you will have two passwords. The one you entered during Kadachi encrypted installation and the new Nuke password you will have to enter after running the Nuke script. You will continue to use your first Kodachi password, but once you're forced to open the system, all you have to do is enter the Nuke password, and the system will be completely destroyed. There's no way to decrypt it, even with your first password. So basically, with Nuke password, you are commanding Kodachi to kill itself by destroying the encryption headers. Basically, what this does is gives you the power, if you want to Nuke your system, you can I don't need to do that, but there are some people out there that might have to. So that's a feature that not many Linux distributions have. Installation, you can do legacy or UEFI. Same thing for flash memory. Same thing for main PC hard drive. Then you can scroll down and it's got a couple frequently asked questions. And it shows you a comparison between Kodachi and Tails. Everything that Kodachi has that Tails doesn't. I know a lot of people talk about Cubes OS. I'm not just here to talk to you about this being a nice, secure, and private operating system. I want to show you that it's also pretty awesome as a daily driver. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close out of the web browser real quick. And if you download Kodachi, throw it on a USB, put it into a virtual machine, and open it up, this is the screen you're met with. And there's a lot going on right here. As you can tell over here, you've got your Conky, you've got your CPU usage at present. I've got it issued two CPUs. It's using about 28% is what I see up there. Memory, I'm sitting at rest at 752 megabytes of the three gigs that I have issued to it. And then over here, it gives you your privacy and security. It shows that you're online. It shows that your ISP provider is the United States. But at present, your VPN is putting you through the Netherlands. And then you can come down here, and the Tor network is running you through Romania. And then you have some other information down here, security score, swap encrypted. And then you can go up to system. It covers files and processes. Then it shows you that we're running 5.15.1. So this is the new kernel. I think right now 5.14 is the stable. 5.15 is in release candidate mode. Traffic, it shows you how much traffic you've got going upload, download, then your cards, and then open ports down here. And then you do have a little cheat sheet over here that lets you know that your VPN is being used, how much CPU, memory, swap, disks, and of course you can lock the system or power it off. I do love the background. I think that is really impressive. I just like the look that it gives you. You do have a dock on the bottom and you do have a panel to the left. If we go over to the panel, you've got date and time, sound, English for the keyboard, clipboard, 
notifications and internet. And then you do have some things that are pinned to the panel. Right here, if you click on that, you've got Torrified Shell, Tilix, Terminator, and Root Terminator. You can come over here and basically open a terminal. Let's see if they have HTOP installed, and they do. So right now, it's letting you know we're running about 880 megabytes of the three gigs that we have issued to the system. And then it shows you all the processes that are running in the background, and I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And down here, you've also got Kodachi Light Browser, Flipboard, then your home folder for Kodachi. Then you can arrange desktop icons, minimize all windows, and show desktop. And that's pretty much it on the panel. Now, if you come over to the dock, first thing you have on the dock is the Kodachi dashboard. Let's go ahead and open that up. It has open. Let's go ahead and maximize it. And as you can see right here, you've got system information, let you know about the CPU, OS boot, shows that it's legacy and it is a live boot. Then you got your IP information, network information, remote information, and then down here, you can connect to the Tor client side VPN if you want to. Right now, we are presently on the Kodachi VPN with Tor server side. And then you've got Mulvad, HideMe, Nord, Proton, RiseUp. And then over here, VPN kill switch, VPN force traffic. You can go down here and block traffic on a VPN downrange, block traffic on IP slash port change. So you got a lot of ways to customize this. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of the Kodachi dashboard. Next thing we're going to look at is browsers. You do have Kodachi Light Browser, which is just a quick browser. You can get on, do some searches. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And it's popped up. And if you look over here, you've got some things pre-installed. you got IP location lookup, MyKai password manager and authenticator, web RTC, and that is disabled at present. Then you've got uBlock origin already installed. And then you can come over here and if you wanted to do a search, let's try eBuzz Central. There it is. It brings up eBuzz Central right here. Shows you where it's getting its results from. This is from Bing. And it looks like it's pulling mostly from Bing on here. But at the same time, you're not getting the page full of pictures and you're not getting the page full of advertisements. So that's pretty impressive. So it loads up quick. You can do your searching. I just showed you that. And I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. And if you come back down to those browsers, we were just in Kodachi Lite. You've got Kodachi Loaded, Tor Browser, Kodachi Gax Browser, Tor, Kodachi Browser with Proxy Chains. Then you've got the Tor Browser, Sphere Tor Browser, Firefox, the unsafe that doesn't have all the protections, and then you can edit GAX config and edit proxy chains config. So that's just your browsers. Now, if you come back down, we're going to open up security apps. You've got Session Manager, Element, Demonsaw, Tox, Pigeon Internet, Zulu Crypt, Zero Crypt, Tor Circuits, Onion Share, Zulu Mount, Siri Cali, Exit Cleaner, File Tools, Open Snitch, Bleach Bit, and Bleach Bit as root. And then if you come back down, you've got security services. You can start syncing, start GNUnet, start I2P, start SSH, deny host. There's so many things you can do in here. And then we're going to go down to other apps. You've got My Monero Wallet, Electrum Wallet, FileZilla, Thunar File Manager. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. And as you can see right out of the box, you have your file system. And then you go to Kodachi, and it shows everything. It shows your regular folders, shows your hidden files. This is like a wide open file manager here. So if you're not used to dealing with something that has the hidden files shown, just know that ahead of time. I love the theme of it. I love that it fits right in with the overall dark look that Kodachi has. And it is Thunar. What version of Thunar? It is Thunar 1.6.15. So it's a newer version. And it's just a quick, light file manager that lets you get your work done and stays out of your way. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Then you've got Thunar as root. And you got Nautilus File Manager. So you have two different file managers. So if you don't like Thunar, you can use Nautilus. And if you don't like Nautilus, you can use Thunar. So that's Nautilus. Let's go ahead and close back out of that. G Merlin Player, GR Sync, Catfish, Double Commander, Shutter, Simple Screen Recorder, Terminator, Transmission for your BitTorrent client, LibreOffice Suite out of the box. You've got Notes, GNote, Genie, Application Finder. And what do we got over here? System apps, task manager, HTOP we've already looked at. Let's open up settings manager. And there's your settings manager. Let's maximize that. You've got appearance. Let's go ahead and click on appearance. Right now you're using the minty dark. You could go up and use add weta, high contrast. I like this theme right here. So I'm just going to stick with that. You can adjust your icons. You can adjust fonts. 
I do think the fonts are a little small. So if I go over here, and let's say I wanted to bump that up to 11, just click on 11, click OK. And as you can see, everything got a little bigger. And then, of course, your standard settings. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Software updater, software and updates. Let's see what we got here. Okay, this is just where you put your PPAs in and shows you all the repositories that you're getting your updates from. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Let's go back down, and that says software updater. So we do have Synaptic. Let's open that up. So you've got Synaptic Package Manager to install apps and software. And if you're familiar with any of my videos, you know that I've gone over Synaptic several times. You've got different categories right here you can choose from. Everything from communication all the way down to World Wide Web, word processing, video software. You've got section, status, origin, custom filters, search results, architecture. So, you know, if you want to look up something specific, you'd click search, type in an application you're looking for, something like OBS, hit enter. And as you can see, OBS is moved over here into the highlighted. And if you come to the right, there's OBS Studio right there. So you would just click on that, mark for installation, and it'll give you a list of dependencies that OBS needs to be installed. You would mark all of those as well, and it's ready to install. But let's say you wanted to install something else at the same time. So let's do a search. Let's go Caden Live. And as you can see, Caden Live is highlighted over here now, and there is Caden Live. So you would click on it, mark for installation. It'll show you all of the dependencies that it needs to be installed. Mark all of those. Once you've got those selected, all you got to do is click apply, and it would install OBS and Caden Live on your system. Synaptic Package Manager, you can't go wrong with it. Still one of my favorite ways to install software and applications. So let's close out of that. Back down to System Apps, you have GW Package Installer. If there's something that you can't find in Synaptic, but you can download the dev package online, just download it. Once it goes into the download, you right click on it and it says open with, open with GW Package Installer and it'll install it on your system. You've got Gparted, Disk Analyzer, Home Usage, Redshift, Virtual Keyboard, Time and Date, Light Locker Settings, Start Disk Creator, Luminosity, System Monitor, and then down here you've got your extra tools, Enable OS System Nuke, that's what we were just talking about on their website, Disable System OS Nuke, Encrypt Safebox, Decrypt Safebox, Panic Repair and Restore, License Information and Donate, and then down here you have Show Desktop. So guys, let me just tell you something. This is a good-looking operating system. It's safe, it's secure, it's encrypted, it doesn't use a lot of resources, and it's definitely an OS if you're worried about security and privacy. But at the same time, if you want to get work done and have a good-looking operating system, Kadachi 8.14 is doing it. Let me know what you think. Is it something you might put on a USB, throw in a virtual machine, and take for a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. Before you go today, please do me a favor, like, subscribe, or follow my channel doesn't cost anything and if you end up not liking me you can always unsubscribe if you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we do you can buy us a cup of coffee or better yet become a patron to the channel over on patreon those links will be in the description below thank you for watching my video and i will see you in the next video